little stuff done. <sighs> so I'm right now being able to learn the real behavior. This is Black Panther shirt. Maybe I should fill this. My hair's a mess. Like if I can hit somebody. It's not like a second to me or anything like that. Maybe it doesn't work. Now you can see the shirt a little bit better. Blah, blah. It goes all the way down here instead of being like up here. Counselor and therapist, same thing. Mm, no, I went no, to my first therapist in freshman year. <clears throat> I was finally able to get one, um, and I only went um, because of full blown panic attacks. I have them on quite a bit. Um, that like winter or so before I don't know yeah I had quite a lot of them um and they were full blown so I couldn't stop crying and I couldn't stop shaking um and it was my whole body shaking and everything I cut my hair a little bit because when I did this it would go down beneath, go down to my eye and irritate my eye. Yeah. Okay. Um, so my first therapist was an elderly lady. She was a grandma. She was in her 60s. She just told me, she gave me like a few tips that were kind of helpful. Um... But I mostly just figured it out by myself um, how to deal with my panic attacks. <laughs> um, and finally realized that they were triggered by different things and then just how to avoid those triggers and things like that. Um, I still had panic attacks and different things like that. But I was able to get out of health class and things like that because um, my brain didn't know what my body knew it. So whenever they talked about, um, like, sexual assault and rape and, um, abuse, I'd always get panic attacks. So it's just actually what happened. I, like, officially got my, like, first full-blown one, full, like, panic attack. I had them before. Um, I just didn't figure out what the hell they were, um, until, <laughs> um until, um, freshman year. I already knew I had depression, um, and I already knew my problems and everything. I didn't want help with that. <laughs> because if you get help, then you're most likely, you're less likely to achieve your goal of dying, so obviously it doesn't make sense. Um, so she was a nice elderly lady. Um, I got used to telling my story and lying to therapist by dealing with her. <laughs> I haven't told people things. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so that was my thirst therapist. And then, um, she didn't even give me any diagnosis of anything. I literally already figured out what <laughs> I should be diagnosed with all on my own. And then she just agreed with me. And then she never talked about medication or anything. Um, she didn't talk about medication options or anything like that. She never actually gave me a diagnosis or talked to a doctor or anything like that. I didn't realize that that's what she was supposed to do. <laughs> she literally just had me sign a piece of paper. Um, and I didn't say I wouldn't cut for like a year. Um, and I only kept the promise because I didn't want to break a promise. Because I didn't want to be like a hypocrite. So <laughs> I didn't cut for a year. And then I just quickly made up that time afterwards and started cutting. Um, yeah. And then... Um, and then I saw... And then summer of my sophomore year, I already figured out what I was and everything. Um, and I found... Oh, that therapist was at Life Center near Indiana, and then I had to go all the way up to Muncie because um, the person I was supposed to see and everything, um, she like actually gave me a diagnosis and everything. Um, so the only time she was actually helpful was on our first meeting, where she literally just told me that I was right about everything that I said, which I already heard. But she was also like, "I'm gonna actually give you a diagnosis." <laughs> Um, and I just need her for a diagnosis, official diagnosis of, um, anxiety. She gave me depression, major depression disorder, um, anxiety, and, and then, um, my gender dysphoria. Yeah, because <laughs> I wanted medication and everything. Um, but then she just, like, made the plan and she had, she would, like, after she'd seen me for like six months, then they could talk about uh, medication. She just said her medication options. She didn't really explain or anything like that. Uh, I talked to my sister and I found out that I could just go to a doctor and tell them when I was diagnosed and then they could prescribe me medication. Like, what? <laughs> like, why didn't you tell me this? Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, talking about this and everything, because I'm going to be able to finally see a therapist who's probably, who's supposed to be able to actually help me with my problems. Um, it didn't work out with her. <laughs> um, I spent like a year with my first therapist, but then they moved offices and I didn't want to, um, because she was actually, at that time they had an, um, Life Center had an office in Harvard City, um, and I thought we had already solved our problems because I was like, I don't have as many pen attacks and I know how to deal with them now, so I don't need to see you. <laughs> um, so I didn't go to therapy for like a year. Um, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, because she went back to their center in Marion, Indiana. Um, and I found a therapist through them the second time. Um, Ashley, the second therapist, I found at Stillwaters in Muncie, Muncie, Indiana, so that was a lot farther away. Um, um, but then she, let's be honest, she just had me read some books that were like, oh, maybe this will help you and, like, make you love yourself by reading a book out loud and lying to you. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, she wasn't helpful, um, not really. She was only helpful the first time we met. Um, and then I don't like her because she kept on insisting that I had to meet with my mother. My mother had to come in to counseling. And then um, she just made me cry because she had my mother say that I she loved me, which is an obvious lie, and I can never believe it. So, of course, I cried. Because you're lying to me. You say you love me, but I don't even believe the love exists that anyone can love me. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and she was 
the only one who was saying. <laughs> um, and I was only able to go to Life Center and Stillwaters is because they're Christian based and everything. Because I had a, because my mom had to drive me and pay for it and everything. Because I didn't have insurance or anything. Um, <laughs> and I was still a minor at the time. Yeah, you know, still 17, 16 and 17. Um, so yeah, so I don't like her, um, <laughs> like, she, you know, she didn't know what she was doing, um, <laughs> and then I found Sarah Shedd, um, who I've had for, like, two years, um, at Life Center, and went back to Life Center, I had her for, like, two years, um, at least two years, I had her ever since, um, I went back to Life Center and found a new therapist and everything. Um, so yeah. And then she's like, <laughs> like, I don't have all these degrees and everything, so I can't help you fully with everything. Um, so, but at least, um, she helped me be able to, um, not hate my brain and my personality, um, so I don't hate myself as much, um, so she has a big help, um, she's the most helpful, and then I went and found a therapist that I met with twice at Cornerstone, and then they sent me to this new place, <laughs> um, <laughs> she sent me to, what is it? Family Service Center or something like that. I probably have it down. Um, but I should add that information. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's everything <laughs> about the therapist. So this one will be my fifth therapist. But at least we'll hopefully be able to. They're at least supposed to actually be able to help me. <laughs> And hopefully, finally, I'll be able to get a letter sent to the center in the center in Indianapolis, so I can finally schedule and figure out my top surgery. Cause that's all I want. <laughs> but no one can send the cover letter in me, so I don't know how much truth I'll tell the therapist. Because, I mean, I only go there because they're not allowed to tell anyone else your problems. Not that I, not because I trust them. <laughs> like, I trust Sarah's shed. Because I'd only, I'd been with her for so many years, so I finally opened more up and slowly stopped lying. <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> So that's everything.